Tonight, new details in a Portland murder investigation and an attempted murder case in Hillsborough. We were the first to tell you about two teenagers who were taken into custody after U.S. Marshals tracked them to a home in Vancouver. One of the suspects, 18-year-old Kaseon Colbert. He was the focus of a follow-up story we brought you last night. He's accused of shooting and killing his girlfriend just a day after she graduated high school. Let's go live to Jenny Young, who's been following all of this. Jenny, why don't you break it down for us tonight? Okay, Jeff. Well, both of these these cases, they are not related. And right now it's unclear how these two young men knew each other and what they were doing at the house. But what is clear, one of those families, those victims, they will rest much easier tonight. She was such a loving person, like just very family oriented, so happy. The family of Shay Harris says they can finally begin to focus on grieving her death now that Casey on Colbert is off the streets. I know she wouldn't want us to be hurt in the way we are from this guy. Colbert had been wanted for second degree murder since mid June. Investigators say he shot and killed Harris in broad daylight in southeast Portland just one day after she graduated from Park Rose High School. You know, she come in the house and she hugged everybody in the room before she sat down. That's how loving she was. That's part of an interview we did with Harris's aunt just yesterday. You might remember we didn't show her face in that story because she was concerned about her safety, saying that Colbert had been threatening her family. But we need this guy in jail. We do. Today, that hope came true. According to the U.S. Marshals, a fugitive task force helped track down and arrest Colbert at this house in Vancouver. It's also where marshals say they arrested 19-year-old Julian Gallardo for attempted murder. This is Coin 6 video from a shooting scene back in 2019 when Hillsborough police say Gallardo shot and injured someone at a house party there. They say he's also facing at least two more felony charges. So Shay Harris's family, they are trying to create a foundation uh, to help women get out of domestic violence situations. If you want to help out that cause, we have posted a link to the GoFundMe page where you can do so on coin.com. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Coin6 News. Jenny, thank you for that update.